Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, aka Lilyworks, and we are back with another reseller what sold over the weekend video. These are great videos to watch if you want to learn about what kind of jewelry, shoes, or like accessories can sell online and what for, like how much I paid, how much I'm getting for them, and then how much profit I am getting for each item. So you might have noticed that I did not put out a what sold over the weekend video um, this past week. I will explain why, but also stay tuned to the end of this video because we reached 2,000 subscribers and I'm going to low-key do a giveaway for you guys. So stay tuned till the end to find out how you can be entered. All right, so here are the jewelry sales. And you guys, I kind of feel like I'm on like <laughs> eBay jail or eBay probation or something, even though this seems like a lot of sales, right? Plus I have some shoe sales and belts and things like that over there. But I only made nine sales on eBay this weekend, which is so low for me. Usually I'm about 20. <laughs> so like more than double for the weekend on eBay. And so sometimes, like you might see, if I do include it in the end of this video, my last video, uh, or my, I'm sorry, my last weekend, then you'll be able to see like that was like a an uptick in sales uh, from last for last weekend. So I had a lot of things to show. I recorded the whole thing and uploaded it to my computer so I could make room on my my phone. Um, and it's not on my computer. So then I re-recorded just uh, me going through it on my Vendu and there was no sound. So I'm just, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of done trying for the week and maybe I will attach those sales. I'm um, showing you guys my actual Vendu analytics and show you like how it looks and how I keep my inventory. That might be really helpful for you guys. But in the meantime, we're going to still be doing this weekend this way. Um, yeah, it was a whole, <laughs> it was a whole thing. And then this weekend, um, sales have gone back down at a very slow, um, pace. Fortunately, let me just take some, uh, a drink of my tea. I'm drinking plum cinnamon, which I highly recommend if you do like tea. It's good, hot, and cold. Um, yeah, so I made some, um, like, four sales on Etsy, which is really great for a weekend. Okay, let's get into these. <laughs> these are some Monet stud earrings, and they look like eyeballs, and I think I even put the word eyeballs in the title. So um, you can see that they're the cream and the black enamel on a gold tone button earring. Very chic, very 1980s. These sold on Etsy for 20. They used my coupon code um, for a percentage off after shipping. My earnings were $13.19, and I got these in that high bid lot where my cost of goods was $1.50 each. Again, fast sale for a no branded, higher quality, like just simple, chic, button looking, and like that optic gold earring. So I, I listed like these plain button earrings and they sold on Etsy. And now these sold on Etsy right away after I listed them. And these are going to France. So they paid $16 plus extra shipping to send these. So after um, all is said and done, my earnings were $14.45 and I got these for $0.25 cents in a shop good a lot. This right here, you might see up close, this is carved mother of pearl. So you see like it's not a perfect pearl necklace. There, it looks like carved shell and it does have the barrel clasp, which is older. This sold on Etsy for $20 minus the coupon. 
They also use a coupon minus shipping, making my earnings $13.19. And again, paid about 25 cents in the same shop goodwill lot. This I've had for a super long time. <laughs> I might have tried selling it on Whatnot. It was in my to sell on Whatnot pile. Um, but it's just very boho, like 1970s comeback wood, long pendant. This one sold for $9 on eBay, and I got that one in a shop go to a lot, most likely for around a dollar. These are some Joan Rivers clip-on, or I'm sorry, um, leverback earrings, which are so pretty with these little dainty turquoise color seed beads. Um, these are in a quatrefoil shape. And a lot of higher end designers do use this quatrefoil shape, like Van Cleef. It is marked Joan Rivers on the back. Joan Rivers is really nice, highly collectible vintage brand. Sold for $19.99, but I also did pay up. So my pieces in this shop go to a lot were $7 a piece. But again, I got that Fabergé egg. I got some really massive, glorious peach pieces. So yeah, that's for these earrings. This one, oh, I love these. Okay, I have decided that I absolutely love who, whomever this artist is. Um, these garnet and sterling earrings are marked PTP on the back, and these are my third pair. And they're very this designer. So you see it; it's like in a script um, mark. Uh, this designer does very modernist style earrings, vintage earrings, and this is a garnet, it tested as garnet. I have some in my closet that I'm not selling. <laughs> I love them so much. Um, but these I paid $2.99 for, sold for $23, and I think they sold on eBay. Okay. Oh, these are glorious. These sold probably next day. So these are most likely just check glass. Um, but they are marked on the side and they're, it's marked, um, where it says rolled gold. So I'm not exactly sure what that means. And I'm not even sure the carrot of rolled gold that this is, but these are definitely like an art deco lever back style earrings. Um, these sold for $25. I think I had them priced high for like $39.99, but the offer came in right away and sales were so slow. <laughs> So I did take the offer of 25 and I got those in a high bid, uh, the high bid lot for $1.50. This I've had for a bit, not too long actually. So I got some Chaps jewelry in a lot and they all had this like Southwestern style. This was like, um, it was mimicking the red coral. Obviously it's fake. It is marked Chaps. Chaps is an, a diffusion of Ralph Lauren. Um, so I mean, it's not highly desirable, but it's not it's not terrible either. This piece sold for $12.99 and I got it in a shop good a lot for about a dollar. This piece I've had for a while. This is a cuff bangle and it does have some like tassel detail going on. So I'm thinking maybe it's like, I don't know, South Asian or something. Uh, I think it's a hinged cuff. Yeah, it is. So, um, yeah, I've had that for a while. Sold for $13 and I got that one in a shop. Go to a lot. Okay. This one also is Joan Rivers. Came from the same Joan Rivers lot. So, again, paid $7. So stinking adorable with this little heart, like faux pearl dangle. There's the back. And uh, there are some Joan Rivers brooches and particular pieces that can go for a lot of money like the Faber Fabergé eggs, the Joan Rivers bees, and things like that. So this one sold for $29 and I paid around $7. This, I, these are some earrings that are in a bean shape and if you guys know, um, Eliza Peretti is a designer that is known, that like her bean jewelry became really, really popular. So she sometimes, um, so sometimes when I have like, um, a puffy bean shaped clip on earring, I will put designer style and then obviously put bean, um, because yeah, like a lot of people copied the Eliza Peretti kidney bean shape. So the, um, this is actually stone and I 
just kind of Googled and took pictures of the stone and what came up was rhodonite. And so these are some stud rhodonite earrings with, there's a little bit of black flecked in there. These sold for $15 and I paid about a dollar. This is a bundle, yay. Um, you guys might recognize this because it's sold. The buyer returned it, they said it's not their style. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> resell resold it it's really really pretty moon like look at that look at that look can you guys just oh so pretty now it's not like the highest quality but it still is really 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 pretty like these are glued in instead of prong set and then they this person also picked this in their posh bundle this is a skeleton key stick pin and it is marked Avon on the back. So something like this, people are selling like $3 all day on eBay. I don't sell things for $3. So I'm fine with listing something for like 10 <laughs> and then, you know, th then they'll buy it in a bundle like this, right? Um, that's kind of what my model is. I just feel like people really undersell a lot of their pieces just to like move inventory fast. And that's just kind of not how I do things. So this bundle sold for 21 and my cost of goods were about $2. All right, moving on over. We have this 1928 um, Mother of Pearl necklace, heart necklace. Um, and last weekend I also sold a 1928 like heart locket necklace and they both had this barrel clasp. And what I said last week, <laughs> but you guys weren't there, um, to see it, I was saying that some 1928 jewelry is modern, made to look vintage, but some of it is vintage, made to look even more vintage. So this would be one of those pieces that's truly vintage. And this one sold for 28, or I'm sorry, $27, and I got that one in a shop Goodwill lot as well. This is a chunky, more modern statement, statement piece, not necessarily my cup of tea but it does have the brand Natasha on it where Natasha branded jewelry is better made this one doesn't really speak to me that much so I did price it a little bit lower but some Natasha pieces are really lovely this one sold on Mercari for $15 all right next we have this oh so lovely 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 um like rock stone bracelets. Let's see. So yeah, uh, I feel like I know this brand now. I don't think I had put it in my title, but now that I see it again, let me see, where did it go? <laughs> Anyways, I Google lensed this um, rock and it turned out to be a river rock. Oh my gosh, now this is going to bother me. Okay, so anyways, I, I might have even put it in the Facebook um, Maker's Mark file that I created for you guys. If you're not joined on our Facebook group, um, go ahead and join. It's a private group, but uh, yeah, <laughs> now, now that's really going to bother me. But anyways, this one sold for $25 on Mercari. It is absolutely lovely, lovely on. Got that one in a shop, go to a lot for about a dollar. This one, yay! This one is going to a YouTuber. Her name is Sherry at Blessed Baubles. I've recommended her channel several times in both the Facebook group and on YouTube. She's a newer YouTuber, but like for her, um, she just does like jewelry unboxings for the most part. And one of her videos really shot her up um, in her like views and her subscribers. <laughs> I'm still waiting for one of my videos to do that. When I was talking to the nurse flipper and um, I think Rod after show, they were saying that um, some people or one of their like they were, they knew a particular video that really shot them up in the in the YouTube algorithm, and it wasn't one that they were expecting to do well at all. It was just YouTube just started recommending it to people like after videos or whatever. And so for the Nurse Flipper, her um, hers was teacups worth more than gold. That was her video that kind of shot her up in the algorithm, and I forgot what Rod said as well. And then Miss Mitzi, Misty, um, she's, I forget what her channel is, but 
Um, she wears those fun glasses. She used to be an antique dealer. She basically said that she never had a video shoot her out her up in the algorithm. So she's been like slowly building her following. Same thing with um, uh, I've been following Adrian as well. Um, she also does a lot of jewelry and vintage jewelry. You guys might know her, but yeah, she's been like slowly gaining traction as well. So one day, <laughs> one day mine will shoot up, but, um, Sherry is awesome. She really is very, very like lovely to listen to, has a very good soul. And you can tell just by listening to her in her videos. So she supported, um, the channel and she bought this directly from a video through PayPal. So this one, you guys might remember, I got, um, for $2 at the antique store, sold for $8 to Sherry. So not only is she getting a deal, but I am also saving a little bit on fees just going through PayPal. And what's nice is now um, that could I can save that information for the buyer in PayPal business. And so if she messages me like later on and says, hey, Rachel, I want X, Y, and Z, I'll be able to inv invoice her to her email. All right. Here is a mistake. I'm letting you guys know that this is a mistake and I need to remedy it because this is a ring bundle, but as you guys can see, there's only one ring. <sighs> That's because the other one sold already. And so I'm going to have to fix that. But this is the Sterling and Carnelian ring that I paid around $5 for in a Sterling um, shop go to a lot, sold for $29.99. So that, that is going out. She also purchased a Emma and Chloe, like, what is it? A green malachite looking ring. It looks more modern. Um, and it is a nicer brand. But when I, I mean, I delisted it from Vendu and it didn't give me any warnings that it had already been sold anywhere. Um, so, but then when I looked back on Mercari, it was sold on Mercari. So some, like, that is not something that's very common, but that can happen where something has already sold. So what I'm going to just do is I'm going to refund them for the shipping that she paid and the ring she paid and then apologize and then maybe offer like future discount for my store or something like that. But that's unfortunate. Anyways, <laughs> that is my jewelry and we can go grab the shoes. Okay, there, there's only a couple shoes going out, but these are so fun. I love these. And these these are not anything like to learn from me, learn, learn from me what not to do. But I picked these up at the Goodwill bins because they felt really, really nice. They feel like really nice leather. They're a cute, unique design. And sometimes when the bins were like really slow and I'm not getting anything, I'm the kind of person that just feels like I need to like keep going with the eBay algorithm where I just keep listing, keep listing, and hopefully things sell. Like, that's what my stay-at-home mentality, mom mentality is. So I don't know if I even, like, could read what it said. All I could make out is that it said made in Italy. Figured out that these are by the brand Sofia Milano, which is not, like, a really highly sought after brand. As you can see, I think this um, marking on the bottom means that they were like sold at TJ Maxx or something. But yeah, so these are going out for $26, took a while to sell, paid about $2 at the bins. These, oh my gosh, they are so fun. And I honestly don't even remember where I got them from. <laughs> like that's how long they've been in my store, maybe two years. But I cannot help myself when it comes to vintage styles. So these are totally um, 80s or even early 90s. These are so nice with the like suede on the inside. So that's great because they're not crumbling. You know how shoes can do that on the inside. Um, so that's awesome. And then look at these fun leather knots. These are flats by the brand Dulcis, which I have um, sold like boots and things like that by this brand. It is a vintage brand. But yeah, these finally did sell and they sold full price for $29.99. And I'm guessing I picked them up at the bins for around $2. And honestly, like, would I pick these up again? I feel like I would. I know. Like, just because I love them, like, 
I I I thought that these would sell a lot faster than they did, but um they didn't. <laughs> And I feel like if I go to a store, I will, I will be, like, taken again. Like, oh, these are so cute and vintage, right? I love vintage. Yeah, so as you guys can see, I have some vintage boots right next to me that are awesome. All right, I'm going to go grab some purses and belts and things. So this is usually the part where... I'm showing you guys a lot of belts, but instead we have other things going out. So let's get into it. Here is an Eric Javits bag. I've had this for a while, but hey, for $75, I do not mind having it for, I think maybe a year. Um, I got it at Goodwill for $9.99. I picked it up because the quality felt amazing. I quick did Eric Javits um, on, on eBay search and there was high comps. So I was like, okay, I'll grab it. Now, I don't really like picking up big bags. I like picking up smaller bags like this, uh, vintage usually, but I am happy about this sale, $75. So yay on Posh. Okay, this one also sold on Posh. We have some bright, bright themes going on here. This is a an orange leather bag, which is awesome because this kind of can go on a belt too. Isn't that so neat? So right when I listed it, someone had made me a really low offer, like $10 or $12 or something like that, and said it's going to a really great home. And I kind of was like, eh, I'm going to wait for a little bit. So this one did sell for $23 and I paid about a dollar at the Goodwill bins and this one sold on Posh. So it has that like faux tool leather look. Really, really cute. Okay, here is a, a scarf. And yeah, I'm not going to sell H&M scarves anymore. But this one did sell from that um, Thread Up Rescue scarf box where my cost per scarf was around $2. Sold for 7 What more can I say? All right, this one, you guys re might remember, it's a chain belt. Love selling chain belts. Very Y2K or 90s. Um, career wear. This is like the geometric and two-tone circles and squares Liz Claiborne belt. This one I got in that neighbor's lot for $1.50 each. And it sold for $28 on Etsy after shipping. My earnings were $23.85. And then lastly, we have this, it's called Filippo hat that sold on Poshmark. Uh, this is probably 50 cents at the bins. So I picked it up at the bins because I thought it was cute and it was a hat and it was lightweight. It did take maybe a year to sell, but it's really cute with this brown bow in the back. Sold for 19, paid about 50 cents. So I still have a lot of hats up there. I know a lot of people you know, sell a lot of hats and flip a lot of hats. I now am just trying to sell what brings me joy. And so, yeah, some of these things I probably wouldn't pick up again, but some of them I would. So yeah, there's that. All right, you made it to the end of the video where we're going to talk about the giveaway. And I'm going to be giving away these earrings. They are some Anthropology. I forgot the brand, but I have two pairs myself, which I love wearing. They're high quality Anthropology. I think made in India. Um, and you can either resell them for a good profit <laughs> or wear them yourself and have like them for a long time because I feel like they are going to be future vintage because they're really well made. They have the label on the back. They're from Anthropology. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway, Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. This is going to be like a private giveaway as a thank you to my subscribers for hitting 2,000. I was so excited when we hit 1,000 and now we're at 2,000. Yay. Um, okay, so the next thing is you... Oh, I wanted to show you these earrings. So these are my earrings for the day. You guys can see them. These are by the brand Art. Okay. So, so I want you to test your knowledge and tell me what does Art stand for when it comes to vintage jewelry? What brand? Try not to peek in the comments. 
And then lastly, I want you to write down within your comment, I want you to say that you've shared and where you've shared the channel or this video or one of your video, like one of the prior videos. Like, you know, if someone needs help learning about listing and keywords, maybe share one of those videos. But I want you to be able to share um, somewhere, whether it be a, a jewelry group, whether it be Facebook, whether it be YouTube, whether it be on your own channel, YouTube channel, just write shared and uh, let me know where you shared it. So yeah, we can keep growing this video. Yay. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously and I will announce the uh, giveaway winner probably in a week or two. So good luck and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.